Now, making public safety priority one. That's what Mayor Jean Stothard says about her 2016 budget. Good evening. I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Brandy Peterson. Today, the mayor outlined additions to Omaha's police and fire forces, but no changes to what you'll pay in taxes. KETV News Watch 7's Alexandra Stone is tracking the big story at 6. She joins us live. Rob Brandy, that's right. After a 2% property tax decrease last year, there won't be any more tax cuts in this budget, but there are big things happening for safety across the city. Over our three budgets that I have done, I believe this one is the strongest. Mayor Jean Stothard confident in her 2016 budget as she presented it to Omaha City Council Tuesday, placing public safety at the forefront. At no other time has this challenge been more clear than with the tragic loss of Officer Carrie Orozco. Stothard's budget proposal would increase Omaha's police force to 840 officers, a three year goal for the mayor. It also adds 15 firefighters along with a new fire truck. The budget includes money for five new inspectors in the planning department to help with the city's new rooming ordinance. And there's $1.1 million for street resurfacing. Though Stothard is again focusing on cutting costs. I think you could see here careful, careful budget management, reducing expenses, reducing spending. The recommended general fund budget increases 1.85 percent, the smallest year over year increase in any of Stothard's budgets. That increase comes as the general fund revenue grew 2.8 percent. One of the big revenue drivers, the city's restaurant tax, bringing in $29 million. No changes yet to that tax, something Mayor Stothert campaigned on, pushing to get rid of. My position on the restaurant tax has never changed since I voted against it five years ago on the council. It is still a goal of my administration, and if we can do it, we certainly will. Though she says things like public safety and building up the cash reserve took precedence. Those are my goals. Those are my, my uh, priorities this year. But I'm not saying restaurant tax isn't a priority. City Council President Ben Gray seeing the budget for the first time Tuesday had this to say. We've got to address poverty and we also have to address streets. And while uh, there has been an increase in the budget there, I'm sure that some of my colleagues along with myself are going to be looking for as many additional dollars as we may be, may be able to get out of the budget. The council will now look at the budget. They can propose amendments and changes. They will hold a public hearing on August 11th at 7 p.m. downtown at City Hall, and then they'll vote later in August. All right, uh, Alexander Stone reporting the big story tonight live. Thanks. Some other highlights from Stothard's budget proposal Parks Department would get more than $1 million for new equipment like high capacity mowers. Also, $130,000 would be reserved for a new REACH program aimed at economic inclusion. We well, can get more complete coverage of the big story. We've posted the mayor's full budget proposal and extended video from her address at today's city council meeting. You can find it right now inside our exclusive app and on KETV.com. They put a gun to his face. He told